up to right here oh I'm gonna copy this up to right here copy actually I don't I just need the path really I don't even need nothing else so up up to right here I don't know how it's going all the way out if I can get this copy all of that so up hype map creator up to the export maps and say close because you don't need the other stuff so now over here I'm gonna just come over here and just paste that all right press enter now we got a height map back same thing from earlier but actually now the thing is you can actually implement this whole thing in VOPS uh, without having to go and visualize the colors we are we're actually visualizing the color right now so we can actually go ahead and do the vi of, uh, height maps from here so I'm gonna drop in a vector to float plug that in over here and while I'm at it I'm gonna drop in a float to vector and plug in the Z value the X value to the accordingly basically and I'm gonna just leave the second value as blank then I'm gonna come over here and plug this into the position data over here alright now this one outputs uh, what you call it it outputs a value a luminance value over here and actually if you just plug in out the luminance straight out to the Y value which is this F val 2 over here now what you have is exactly the same thing only straight up from VOPS now the color is coming up from this so if you don't want the color you can actually just go ahead and remove that like so so there's your height map same thing as earlier but if you don't want to remove your color from the VOP level you actually you can go back up and right under the material you have an attribute also under attribute you also got an attribute which you can actually plug it in and for the you the my color attribute over here is a point color attribute so you want to make sure it's under point and just type in capital C small d answer and now you have the same thing all over again only this time in VOPS and as I said earlier now we have a height map attribute already created in this so actually if I go ahead and copy this guy because he already has the actually I don't even have to copy the guy I'm gonna just drop in another points up and plug it in over here and now for one if I type in height over here height you see it's still red Houdini doesn't know uh, that the attribute is there but I know for a fact that it's actually there so you, you see it gives me an error because he doesn't know what where the data is you see height is existent for sure but when I come over here it's not existent you see now the problem is you actually need to declare the variable or the attribute before it plugs in for you to read it as an uh, as an attribute but instead of actually doing it like this you can actually go ahead and use a point expression to extract the data of the height map uh, straight up so point expression and it's gonna ask for the string surface node which in our case is the VOP so VOP SOP1 and it's gonna ask for the floating point number so you want every single point in that particular case so to give that data you use a dollar sign and PT so dollar PT actually means every single point from the VOPS up I want the attribute which you're gonna type in next which in our case is all in small letters so height it's exactly the way you typed it in VOPS is what you're gonna put over here so height and uh, float index being that it's a float value it's just gonna put a zero on it and close that and enter and you get your map one more time same style but kind of you know differently but same style now you got your mod people who create uh, mad paintings and stuff you you have your camera already as you can see and you got your sky and stuff so pretty much you you know you you're gonna create really fast stuff now that's style number one pretty much so what you're gonna go ahead and do is implement another style which is much more easier probably or much faster than the other one so let's go ahead and implement the second style see how we go now for this particular potion it's gonna be really the same thing as earlier so I'm gonna just go ahead and copy these two guys copy paste bring him over here and I'm gonna just drop in a VOPS up after that and plug it in and for one we're gonna implement the style the same way as earlier so I'm gonna just actually if I copy if I check on this VOPS up over here 
he has everything that I need so actually I'm gonna just copy this guy and paste him and plug it in over here and even though it's actually using the data straight up from whatever we don't actually want to do that what we want to go ahead and do is um we don't want to use no height maps so it already has the uv data that we need so we're gonna leave that so everything else from the luminance and stuff we're gonna delete that makes everything flat so what we're gonna do is kind of be kind of different than the others so i'll maximize this uh so for one we already got our u this is our uv data so uv data then the breaks it down what we're gonna go ahead and do is actually uh make a vector out of this so a flow to vector plug that in over here accordingly and now what you have essentially is a vector value which you can actually drop in and i would say i'm gonna just use the same stuff that i used from earlier anti-alias noise plug it in over here now that's a vector value don't forget that but now you can actually use any other kind of stuff that you actually want so you can actually drop in under patterns you got uh i don't know cellular noise and you can drop in the uv values again now the s plugs into the very first port and the second port plugs in, into the t now that's pretty much giving the uh the cell value which kind of gives this r the desert kind of dry uh feel to the stuff to the texture uh anyway just get the point it's a dry kind of stuff so you, you're gonna plug in the stuff into that now you can actually go ahead and add these two guys up just like earlier so pretty much add the value over here and you can add what you feel like border distance one probably whichever one you feel like and the output you can just give the output to the float value over here for the uh, second port and pretty much you've done the same thing uh, as earlier only different different uh, different match you can see the cellular pattern is kind of big in our particular instance so I'm gonna go ahead back in and for one you might want to make the noise frequency a little bit lower you can see how it looks much more brickier now and the cellular pattern is kind of big so frequency you want to increase the frequency to make it low and the frequency for the noise uh kind of high and now you got your same terrain maps only differently kind of differently than uh the other one and straight up from it's more like a valley and stuff like that but you got you can see what the point is with all this kind of good stuff but anyway i'm gonna let you guys play with this uh it's kind of fun implementing all this stuff and I'd rather let you guys play with this than me having let's show you all this kind of stuff so you can go ahead and uh, do some crazy stuff with this and see how it goes all right matter of fact I'm gonna show you something I'm gonna drop in a hue shift and it asks for a shift whatever and you can plug that into the color and <laughs> well we're gonna go ahead and get the shift color and uh oh I shouldn't have I'm going to plug it into the amplitude and oh the color I need to give it a color there we go and now you can have all your different textures with different height maps kind of stuff anyway I'm going to be out on this one let you guys play with this and I'm out see you on the next one definitely for sure